A quick code walkthrough of my personal website so that you can build your own. The site's landing page displays entries into coding, photography, video, and writing. Within those pages, my projects are listed for each discipline and each project features a detail page. After bringing down my design idea in Figma, I decided to go for the following tech stack. TypeScript and Next.js as core code base, Tailwind as styling framework, Contentful as my content management system, Cloudinary as my image optimization tool, and Vercel as production environment to deploy the application. On the CI CD side, I've installed pre-commit hooks with Husky and code formatting with ESLint and Prettier to make make my development environment as robust and readable as needed. I set up some of this right when creating the project using the CLI. Let's dive into directory structure. I like to keep it lightweight on the top level with an app components and lib folder. With an app, I have the routes to all my pages. My individual UI components are stored in the components folder and they're structured into all things layout, page specific UI and shared components. Hooks, helper functions, constants and anything that I import into other files goes into the lib folder. My TypeScript setup is super simple. I have my model entities defined in a separate types.ts. Then within a component, I'm always defining an interface Interface using the respective type and usually extending other base types. Onto the CSS setup. I use Tailwind and extend the Tailwind config slightly with my custom colors, a custom font family, and custom breakpoints defined in a separate file. Within my components, I then apply classes while using Tailwind IntelliSense to keep my code organized and my coding speed high. I'm often extracting the Tailwind heavy code into a separate file, assigning props, and then using that component in a single line elsewhere. Layout-wise, I'm having a core root layout, rendering a header, the page, and conditionally a modal. For navigation, I added a menu that fades in and out using Framer Motion. It's one of my only client components since it uses React context. Everything else is server rendered, keeping JavaScript on the server and sending fully rendered HTML documents to the client. Using parallel routes and route interception from Next.js, I created this photo model, allowing for an efficient browsing experience and at the same time switching to the project URL. A parallel modal page is defined here with dynamic data for each project and then passed into the root layout as a prop. This way, we are effectively rendering two pages in one view. On desktop, I render a center model. On mobile, I render a bottom sheet. Only if users refresh, they are routed to the actual page. Contentful is the content layer for all pages. On the Contentful platform, I created content models and instances of those models for all my projects. Then, in a separate Contentful file, I create a reusable function to fetch from the Contentful API. I can then use that function, pass a GraphQL query to fetch all sorts of content types. Here, for example, I'm using my created abstraction, fetching all code projects, and map them onto code item components. If a user clicks on a code project, I want to show the individual project with more detailed information. I do that inside a dynamic route, generating path for all published projects, and then fetching an individual project by passing the slug to the function. And this pattern is equal across all my project pages. Cloudinary allows me to make my image-heavy website performant. Every image gets passed into an optimized image component, along with a set of widths that shall be supported. Using the Cloudinary SDK, I can create a new Cloudinary image URL with custom transformation options, like the quality of the image and its device pixel ratio. Cloudinary determines the right image size for the given screen size and returns images with the smallest possible file size. Metadata is super important for Google SEO and when your website gets shared. We want good looking links with titles, descriptions, and images. Next.js makes this super easy. I'm exporting a default metadata object from the root layout as well as a favicon, open graph, and Twitter image at the root app level. This already gives us a good looking link. For our individual routes, I'm using a generate metadata function, fetching the relevant page data, and then returning its title, description, and image. This gives us a nice looking link, almost. I want to have that face centered, so I'm adding a gravity parameter with a gphase value to the Cloudinary fetch URL. This moves the crop to the face. Finally, about deployment. This is deployed on Vercel. It gives me a super easy pipeline importing from GitHub, a nice overview of my deployments, and an easy way to connect to my custom domains. If you want to dig deeper, the repository is public on GitHub, link below, and features a quick readme that explains how to get this project running.